Marshall has been a huge influence on satire, which in some ways is odd because he's not, strictly speaking, a satirist. Not in the Roman sense. For Romans, satire was satura, a mixed medley, and it was the literary genre that they consoled themselves they had invented. The Greeks had been everywhere, done everything first, but satire was all theirs. The name echoes satura lanx, a kind of hot pot of all sorts of bits and pieces, very characteristic of Roman cooking, to throw in too many ingredients. Uh, and Roman satire was always like that. If you read Juvenal, for instance, his poems ramble, they go off at tangents, the narrator really doesn't have control of the plot, and that's kind of the effect that satire was always deliberately aiming for, to be a mixed medley. With epigram, Marshall sees a chance to mimic that, but in actually a different genre, not in the hexameters of satire, not in long verse, but in lots of little ones that jostle against one another randomly. So I think he's influenced Roman satire hugely. He certainly influenced Marshall without actually himself being a Roman satirist. When Juvenal starts writing, Marshall himself is just winding down in old age, and they know each other, uh, they write about each other, so it's clear there's a kind of passing of the torch there. And then Juvenal, of course, becomes the classic exponent of Roman satire, the one everyone reads, the one everyone cites. He's the Roman satirist that everyone can name. And from Juvenal, then, satire takes its template. So Marshall's influence on Juvenal, which is profound and formative, uh, indirectly kickstarts the European tradition of satire.